Uh, Mr. Gay he Keeper here. We got a um, a Varmint XL110 mobile tube type amp. One of these old school uh, antiques is what I like to call them. And uh, I uh, fired her up and she was not working. I looked in here and saw two uh, solder joints that I wasn't too sure of. So I touched them up a little bit and, and she was working. So that was pretty cool. A uh, good buddy of mine from uh, New Jersey gave me this. And uh, very nice fellow, man. <laughs> If I could count the amount of stuff he sent up here to me and stuff that needs a little bit of work done to it. It's surely been a blessing to me, man. No doubt about it. You know who you are. <laughs> good, good friend of mine, man. I wish I had more time to talk to him. But, uh, yeah, man, it works. Works good, too. Um, it's got a pair of... Come on now. I just saw what they were. They're six. Oh, it's on the top of the two. Six VK6s. And I'm getting about 150 to 250 watts out of them. 250 watt slug. We're on peak. We're on the PEP mode. Oh, a little bit over 200 watts. Good low dead key. Oh, hey, what's this thing talking when you out there just talking on it, man? About 175 watts? Break, break. <laughs> RMS, oh, 50 watts. No, oh, let's make a good driver. As long as you're okay with the old hissing sound that the mobiles make. All these mobile amps make that sound because there's just no way around pulsating that DC to make that uh, transformer work. And that's what those two transistors right there are doing. Because uh, these tubes run off multi-hundreds of volts. So you have to uh, pulsate that voltage that DC voltage now I've got the voltage real low by the way the volts I've got it on 12.5 volts you want to run these mobile amps on a lower voltage if you can yeah I'll turn it up a little bit about 13 8 you want to kind of run them on lower voltage some of them are kind of sensitive to higher voltage yeah, that's about 13, 13, 8 right there. Oh, yeah, there really ain't no difference. Oh, about 250. All right. So there she goes. The, uh, the knob is broke. I'm going to put another knob on it. And uh, this uh, right here is, I mean, you could find a knob to fit it but it's a uh, trimmer as you can see so you can just adjust that with your with your flathead and the uh input reflect on this thing is, is awesome awesome take a look at it no no movement whatsoever no it's hard to get something that flat there's your input tune right there which is on the bottom of the amp i i had no reason to adjust it i mean it's working very good man if you look at the bottom of the amp this listed 70 watt amplifier but i know back then when people had a lot smaller radios now i'm only driving it with a four watt radio my radio does four watts rms it peaks out about anywhere from 15 to 20 watts peak so i wouldn't drive it much more than that all right off to ebay it goes I don't got no screws, but maybe I can find some screws laying around or something. And of course, I got my negative uh, just clipped right here to the heat sink. You'll find a lot of these won't even have a negative wire coming out. A lot of people just put a uh, bolt on the side. 
as I'm sure you probably know if, if you're going to be buying this you probably are experienced with these type of amplifiers. Alright, off to eBay it goes. Gatekeeper said it. Bye bye.